Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander, We're back again to do another pickups video. This time I'm going to do it all differently. It's going to be a so it's different camera quality on my phone. So if you like this quality of this camera right here, if you want to do this pickups like this way, or want to do the one the regular before, please leave a comment below. And I haven't really picked up a whole lot, and because I don't have time too much to go game hunting and all that anymore, because I've been busy with school, work, and other stuff to just take a little break from buying games, enjoying games I have in my collection. So, um, and I pick up some stuff like here and there, and I can't wait to show you guys. So, anyway, when I will not waste any time, let's get started. Um, let's start with the nun gaming side first, right here. And let's start with these ones. I got these Lion King figures at my work for 49 cents for my during my creation month. So, I got little Simba and Timon and Pumbaa. So I got those for 49 cents each for my employee appreciation month. So uh it's 20 percent off. So really cool, they really cool to have these these uh, two figures display in my gamer. So super super happy about that. And then I got these two DVDs right here. I got the uh Tailspin Volume 2. I've got it for Bookmans for eleven dollars and fifty cents. I have I have volume one you've seen in my last pickups video. And I got volume two, so I got sorry too. So I got drawing more episodes of Tailspin from my childhood. So super super happy happy about that. And the last non gaming related is the last classic ninety ninety show on DVD is Digimon season one. Um, I got it for like eight dollars and fifty cents at Bookman's, and it's super super happy to have it. I have all twenty seven episodes of season one. Um, Digimon is like is is from my childhood. Next to Fox Kids, next to Power Rangers, all that. Besides like Pokemon and all that other stuff, so I love the first and the second season of Digimon, and the rest of it are like really really crap. But yeah, so really really cool to have this in my anime collection and bring back so many 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 childhood memories watching Digimon. And my favorite Digimon is Greymon as a kid. So so super 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 happy to have this. In my anime collection and bring back my childhood memories right here. So, super super happy about that. And that's it, all the gaming stuff. Let's start off with the gaming stuff. Um, I got this and I got the finally, 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 I got the Nintendo Switch online. I paid $19.99 for the whole 12 months and super super happy about this. It'll be used for like NES Online, Super Nintendo Online, and Super Mario Maker 2. And so, like, if so, so it's really really helpful. It's like if you have Super Mario Maker 2, if you don't have Nintendo Online, it's pointless to play the game without this right here. So so super super happy for $19.99 for the whole 12 months for Nintendo Switch Online. Super 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 really really happy about that. So there's that. And I got this for 40 bucks. And this game goes for like 50 to 60 dollars. That is the layered game from the NES life cycle, and that is Dark Queen Duck. Um, I, forty dollars. Super super happy about that. I check online on the game my Expo, then there weren't any copies there, and I saw a box copy for like one hundred seventy five dollars, and I don't want to pay one hundred seventy five dollars for like a game, but yeah. So I got this for forty dollars for a, a real authentic copy of Dark Queen Duck. Super super happy to have it in my NES collection, and this is the last any game any games I need for my physical collection, and there's no more after that. So, yeah, super super happy to have this in my uh, physical NES collection. I love Darkwing Duck as a kid, and the game was pretty, pretty game is pretty, pretty fun too, and hard at the same time as Mega Man. So, yeah, super super happy happy have Darkwing Duck in my physical NES collection. I got this from uh, eBay. I got that from eBay too. I got it for forty bucks. So next one, the other got from eBay too. I got it for forty bucks as well. The authentic copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Four, Ninja Turtle Four, Turtles of Time. I really, really wanted this game. I re playing it as an arcade as a kid, and I seen on the game my expo like they they want vendors like fifty or sixty dollars for it. I don't want to pay like sixty dollars for like a really, really great game. But I got it for forty bucks on eBay. Super, super happy about that. You know who our turtle time is. It's an arcade classic. And I'm super, super happy to finally have this in my Super Nintendo collection. So, super, super happy about that. And another one from eBay. Last one I got from eBay. And I got it for like $25. 
That is Dark Soccer 3 on the PS1. Like, I love Dark Soccer 1 in the arcade back in the day. And I love this one too. I remember playing at Game Boy SB 13's house, aka Matthew's house. And I really loved to join it. My favorite characters are Morgan, Dimitri, Felicia, and BB Hood. So, yeah. For $25 for a loose disc of Dark Soccer 3, should be, should be happy about that. And I want to print on this cover for this one day. So, yeah, for $25 for a classic, classic fighting game on the PS1, should be, should be happy to have this in my PS1 collection. And the, uh, and I got this for the trade credit. I traded in the, uh, my Dragon Ball Xenoverse and a big PS2 Slim and all the other stuff and my Evil Within and all that because I didn't really care for those on the PS4. I, this was like $35, but when I trade credit, I paid $11.50 50 for it. And that is the Mario Sonic at the Rio Games 2016 Olympic Games. Did When this came out, it used to be like a rarest Wii U game. People want to sell for like, like $50 to $70. Like now, since the Wii U discontinued it, they want $35 to $40 now. So, yeah, so I was really, really happy, really, really looking for this to complete and done with my Wii, done buying games for the Wii U. So, yeah, so for $11.50, all that, with the $35.50 minus, minus the retailers, I got it for like $11.50 and all that. Super, super happy to have this the last rare Wii U game I needed for my Wii U collection. So, yeah, super, super happy, happy to have this. In my final physical game I needed for my Wii U collection. So, no more buying games for the Wii U and all that. And I'm done with them buying games for Wii U forever. And super, super happy to have this final game in my Wii U collection. And finally, the last pickups games that I have is the uh, is from Trifor Collectibles, which I haven't really done. Been in a place in a really, really long time. So, really, really cool to visit them again. And the first pickup game I got for like 10 bucks loose is that bring back a lot of memories for me playing as a kid in Dumbo Dicks along with Tekken 2. That is Twistle Metal 2. Like, this is my this was one of my first Twistle Metal game I played back in the day as a kid. Or I'm playing with my uncle back in the day. Like, you George Shoring, George Shoring cars, like run George Shoring other cars and all that other stuff. Like, this bring back a lot of memories. This and Twistle Metal Black. So. Yeah, so 10 bucks for a loose copy of uh, Twisted Metal 2. Can't go wrong with that because I've seen for like complete for like 20 to $25 now. So for $10 and all that, for Brave Bright Memories, Childhood Memories of Twisted Metal 2. Happy, happy, happy to have this in my PS1 collection. And finally, I paid full retail for it. The game, you know, game is like 70, the game is like go for a lot, 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 lot of money now. Like 100 bucks and all that other stuff. That game, the last game I show you guys in this pickups video, is that is Conker's Bath Fur Day on the N64. Um, I pay yes, you can see it, seventy five dollars. I pay for the whole retail of this game. Yeah, I've been. I remember so many memories playing it as a kid. Even though back then we haven't played. Back then we can't play M games. Like if you have to be like, be with your parent and have seventeen years of age. And I really loving it. Everything about this game is so, so funny. The sex, the humor, the censorship, everything about this game bring back so much childhood memories playing it and renting it back in the day when I had my N when I when when I had my N when I have my N64. And the Xbox version, like Live Relay was okay, but they dumbed down the censorship. This is your original that we that I grew up with, that I really, really fuck with. So for $75 for a expensive Nintendo 64 game. Super, super happy to have this physical game in a real cartridge, not fake, and all that. For a really, really humor, sex, and censorship game. Yeah, I play as a kid and I rented as a kid. Super, super happy to have this expensive and rare game I have in my N64 collection. So that is it. You have all the pickups, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, tell me, you guys, what you guys pick up. I hope you guys are not going to be much more pickups videos because I've been slowing down, took a little break. I'm focused on focus on games I'm playing, focus on playing. So I'm going to get like new releases here and there and all that other stuff and all that stuff. So I will do more pickups videos in the future. 
So make sure to comment, like, subscribe. If you want to follow me on follow my upcoming videos on my Facebook doc, follow me on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Kim Game page. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much and goodbye.